Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman, and this is the Largely Catechized Life. Okay, so we've been talking about the Sixth Commandment, you shall not commit adultery, but we have been almost exclusively talking about it to people who aren't married. And, well, that kind of misses the mark a little bit. You see, this commandment demands not only that everyone live chastely in thought, word, and deed in his condition, that is, especially in the estate of matrimony, but also that everyone love and esteem the spouse given him by God. For where conjugal chastity is to be maintained, man and wife must by all means live together in love and harmony, that one may cherish the other from the heart and with entire fidelity. So, married people, um, people who want to get married someday, people who are striving for that whole love and harmony bit and just not finding it, people who have never actually seen a good example of it in real life, a lot of the trouble in marriage comes from thinking that it's our job to build something perfect here in the first place. We imagine what this perfect marriage would look like and we want that. We see sitcoms from the 1950s where everybody has the perfect relationship and that becomes our goal. We see glimpses into friends and families relationships and from the outside looking in they have no problems at all and we we want that and that's good. The problem is that we're just not finding it. We start to think that, well, maybe we really could have this whole love and harmony bit if only this person would stop doing this, if only I could do more of that, if only I found the right person because maybe I'm not with them at all and I I need to actually find my real soulmate, this perfect person out there who will perfectly match up with me and I will never sin against them and they will never sin against me and so we will always be happy and we will never fight and everything will just be perfect all the time like in the movies except that's not real life. But the answer, the real answer, is there all along. Luther catches it in the large catechism. He notes that your spouse is given to you by God. That that means something. That means that your soulmate is not this perfect person out there that you just have to go out on a journey to find. Your soulmate is the person that God joins you together with. You can know that your wife or your husband is your soulmate because, well, you're married to them. God has joined you together. He has mated you together into a family. And that doesn't look like two people who never sin or never fight. That looks like two people that Jesus died for, joined together by a gift that God gives. And there, there we find the key to marriage. Soulmate, love, harmony, these are not mountains to climb. These are gifts from God in the very same way that the gift of forgiveness is the thing that sustains us in this world. The gift of forgiveness is the same thing that sustains our marriages. You will not find a person who doesn't sin in this world. You will not be a person who doesn't sin yourself, but you will both be people that Jesus died for. And when you can look at each other in the light of the cross, there you find somebody worthy of love. There you find somebody who is perfect under Christ. There you find the image of Christ and the church finally. He who gives him himself up for us to name us holy and blameless in his sight so that we might look at each other in the same, the same love and the same forgiveness. We can deal with each other in light of his love that pours out finally in terms of loving each other. The sixth commandment, it it does not point to how much you have to do to finally build the perfect marriage. It points to just how much God would give us in this blessed estate. Higher Things thanks you for your support. Please continue to support the work we do with youth by going to our website at higherthings.org clicking on the support and donating securely through PayPal. Your gift helps us in our mission to support pastors, youth workers, and parents in daring our church's youth to be Lutheran. Higherthings.org slash support. Give today.